ah, I'm the only person in at the moment. I don't think I need to be wearing this when no one else is around. Ah. That's better. Hello, it has been a very long time, but it's lovely to metaphorically see you all, and I'm very happy to be saying, hi, this is Callum from Termos Chester, and I'm back with some video reviews. I know things still aren't completely back to normal, but it seems like there's finally a bit, uh, being a bit of light at the end of this long, strange tunnel we've been going down, so, I'm going back to doing the thing I know how to do, sort of, and that is some pipe tobacco reviews. Hopefully they'll be back a bit more regularly, and soon uh, we've, I've got a little something that might be a bit interesting planned, but more on that over the next few weeks. So, I'm starting off today by looking at the Chieftains range, uh, which is a new range of British pipe tobaccos that cover the spectrum of tobacco from your very light cased aromatics right up to your strong heavy traditionally English aromatics. So what I have today is their Shipwrights mixture which is a nutty base of tobaccos with a sort of a dark chocolate, coconut, mapley sort of character and it's something I'm a big, big fan of. Um, I don't know how much this will jump out, but it's a flavour style that doesn't get used as often in cased pipe tobaccos as others do. When you get cased tobaccos, a lot of the time you tend to get uh, more on the fruity side, so obviously things like cherry are very popular. Uh, you do often get vanilla, but for your non-fruity one, that's kind of it a lot of the time. To, so have something that hits all of the flavours like chocolate and maple and all those that side of the fruit uh, the sweetness is it's a surprisingly uh, rare change of pace and it's nice to see it pulled off very well the smell in this jar is amazing when you open the lid it's very very sweet very very enticing very puddingy I love love it when tobacco is puddingy and I love saying the words puddingy so also very glad to say that when you actually light it all of that stays at the forefront. It's not a tobacco that you'd call aromatic in that it just smells good. It's uh, aromatic and flavoured tobacco. You definitely get a lot of that taste carrying over into it. Um, I am going to have to relight because I've been waffling. But yeah, it burns very easy. Very easy to puff on. Not harsh, not overly strong, but with a really enjoyable amount of flavour. Um, I definitely, definitely recommend trying this. Um, if you do like this style, just because as I say, you don't get to see it very often. And just the fact that it's something a little bit out of the norm for, uh, for fruity ones. And it's a very good start for Chieftains out of the ones I've tried. Uh, it, as I said, it looks like they've got quite a broad range. So I'm hoping that the rest of them have pulled off as well as this. But this is one I definitely recommend having a taste of. Probably a good starting point as well, because you've got other more aromatic ones beneath it, and other strong English aromatic ones to the other side, so there's plenty of room to move from this if you were to use this as a sampler. If you do want to give it a try, it's available as always at termos.com. If you do try it, hope you like it, don't forget to let us know what you think. And as always, if you like these videos, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more in future. Until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers.